think you got there. There you go. Can you guys hear us now? Now we can. Yeah, I can yeah, hear you. Can. There we go. All right. Can, can I ask what you see on the screen? Blue screen. Just a blue. Okay. Well, hopefully we won't lose you as we go back to try to pull up the agenda. Yeah. I may have trouble displaying the screen today for you. Can you see the screen now? It's still your blue window screen. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I don't know why this is doing this. In a few more minutes or I'm gonna I'm gonna have to restart the meeting to get it to stop doing what it's doing i think and i'm not you know that's up to you you want to restart yeah, it or try that mary, mary if you want to try to do that okay we're going to do a quick restart here so everyone else they can stay on right then we just have I to restart i think they might be able to i'm not so if you get kicked off then come please back. come back on there you go what the Sorry about these technical difficulties. So is it that I don't get it. I'm going to have to play lots of games when there's not an actual meeting going on as to getting this to work right. Well, I'm going to bring up the files that I need. So we'll while back. okay, we're back. Yes, we're while Steve is pulling up the files, you will not have camera of us. Um, he feels that's probably what is causing the glitch here. So they work with that a little bit more. So we'll again call the meeting to order and go with roll call. Okay, we have. Uh... In the in the room here, we have Mary Gayski and Robert Spandler, and we have on the the, uh, the screen we have uh, yeah I'm just okay we have our new member Taryn Morgan, John Kirshner, Gary Lenker, Carter Wyckoff, and on the phone Josh, are you still there? Oh, Did I miss anybody? We can see the agenda now. So, okay, yeah. we're getting somewhere. Thanks, John. At this time, uh, I see Gary too. Yeah. <laughs> sure. So we um. <laughs> 
at this time, what I'll do, we have a new member, uh, Taryn Morgan. So we want to welcome her to the, um, the commission here and also ask if you don't mind, Taryn, if you could introduce yourself and give us a little background. Sure. Um, my name is Taryn Morgan. Uh, I am from Jefferson Township, which is on the northern end of Dauphin County. I'm a lifelong resident of the northern side of the mountain, uh, minus the four years I lived in State College when I was in school. Uh, I'm a high school science teacher with a cyber charter school. Uh, I have three kids and my husband and I own the Carsonville Hotel. Well, thank you. Right down the road from me. I live on Powell's Valley Road. So oh, okay. <laughs> nice. at the way other end. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll have a meeting there. Yeah. Oh, you beat, that looks you, great. Beat, you beat me to the punch. There. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can beat me to the beer. If you want. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, welcome again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next up, we have our uh, meeting minutes for the February 7th meeting. We need to entertain a motion to approve. I'll make that a motion, Bob Spandler. A second. First or second. Thanks, John. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, meetings are approved. Minutes are approved. Okay, next up in your package, you have the uh, the treasurer's report with the um, account showing a balance of five thousand two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Any comments from either yeah. Steve or Jerry? Uh, for uh... Our new members, newer members here, I'll uh, kind of explain again what we do here. Whenever an application is uh, submitted for review for the uh, Dauphin County Planning Commission under our regulations, the, uh, uh, the funds for that review go to the uh, Dauphin County Planning Commission. Uh, but uh, under the arrangement of uh, uh, working with the Tri-County Regional Planning Commission, those funds are eventually transferred over to the Tri-County Regional Planning Commission. So in essence, the, uh, this is a transfer of the uh, money to see for, for all the development applications and reviews. Uh, the size of the applications are based upon a number of factors, including the uh, application uh, number of lots. Also for commercial, it's based upon its size in terms of square footage. Uh, and we also charge for sewer module reviews. So you will see this number change from month to month. Um, and this month of $5,200 plus or minus is uh, fairly uh, larger, but uh, then again, we had 14 applications in three uh, sewer modules. So again, it usually runs about uh, 14, $1,500 a, a month. But again, it's, uh, it's the only fiduciary response, responsibility that I know of, of the Planning Commission and it's working with uh, transferring of the funds to Tri-County Regional Planning Commission who uh, uh, maintains the offices and, and holds the staff. Okay, thank you, Jerry. So at this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve the um, transfer of the $5,225 plus the monthly interest. First removes it. Okay, second, anyone? Second. Gary. Gary Lincoln. Okay, Gary, second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so we'll be transferring those funds. Okay, next up under reports. Um, Report of officers. I don't have any report. Is there any other officer with a report? Um, no. No. Okay, no other reports. Then up communications and staff reports. Um, there are no items there as well. 
Then we have, next up, we have our program progress report. Sure. And Steve will share. Yep, yep, Mary, I have a handful of things that I highlighted out of the uh, progress report that's in your packet. Um, had an interesting, very, uh, I think a very effective um, meeting with all three Dolphin County commissioners here recently with all the infrastructure money that's around and that type of thing, just on talking about not only the transportation infrastructure, but the other broadband, you know, there's a lot of uh, different funds and there's a number of competitive programs. So the money doesn't necessarily flow down, but you have to request it. So just had a meeting on the kind of the range of things that are out there and uh, the commissioner's desire to you know, be on top of that as much as we can to, to work with the various county agencies on making sure we get Dolphin County's um, fair share. Also had a meeting, this was commissioner's meeting month. I, I also met with them and PennDOT uh, on a uh, discussion about uh, the proposed tolling for the South Bridge. And this was the commissioners basically relaying formally to the department that everybody they hear from is opposed to the tolling of the South Bridge and that they just wanted to maintain an open communication as that process unfolds. So just to let you know that happened. Um, also still on the transportation front, I've mentioned this before that we are looking to bring the bike share program back uh, to Dolphin County. We now, we have distributed a, a request for information for potential vendors. They're due by the 18th. Um, so here in an April time frame, we should we should kind of know where we stand with bringing that bike share back. Again, the goal is to have something in play um, by sometime this summer. Um, uh, just still on transportation infrastructure for what it's worth. One of the things that HATS put on their uh, improvement program moving forward is a specific allocation um, to help with locally owned bridges, which are basically 20 feet or longer, which means they're eligible for federal funds. So it's, it's HATS attempt to help municipalities get up to speed uh, or, or improve the condition of their larger bridges. So just to tell you that that's, that's out there and I think that's uh, gonna be an effective program. Um, you know, kind of moving out of transportation, um, Jerry may tell you we had our premier project awards uh, ceremony here. Jerry, do you want to give any details on yeah, that? Yeah, just so you know, we had a record uh, number of applicants this, this time, and I want to thank the judges uh, who uh, helped us out, including the three members for our planning commission, um, Bob, uh, uh, John, and uh, Josh. Those are the three. I don't want to forget anybody. And uh, I think they would agree that it was a fairly uh, competitive group, and it was, uh, you know, a lot, uh, lot to look at. And again, appreciate that. Uh, the we have four awards, plus we have one uh, large award that's kind of our overall winner. Um, and the the uh, categories are based upon our comprehensive plan meeting the goals. And the first uh, comprehensive plan goal is growing our communities. And we split those projects up into two. Uh, one is for smaller projects, and that's under a million dollars. And uh, Mr. Lenker's uh, uh, it, uh, was uh, one of the reward or award uh, recipients for Tri County HDC for the Frank S. Brown Boulevard Home Ownership Project. Over a uh, million dollars was the Dauphin County uh, Redevelopment Authority for the Rubber Soul Brewery uh, Adaptive Reuse Project in uh, Lingolstown there. Uh, almost down, sorry, got my, my community's mixed up there. Yeah. Uh, then uh, the other uh, portion of our uh, comprehensive plan is the economy and growing our economy winner was uh, Susquehanna Regional Airport Authority. This is for their air cargo reconfiguration and expansion project. And then the fourth uh, category associated with our comprehensive plan is growing within our environment. And the winner was uh, Londonderry Township for their Conewago Creek restoration project. Um, 
Also, too, the, we asked the judges uh, to look at all the different uh, ones and see if there is any uh, that is, uh, distinguishes itself among all the projects. And that one is named after Tim Reardon, our former director. Those who have been on the Planning Commission for a number of years know Tim and been in many meetings with Tim, but um, it's, the, it's our Tim Reardon Excellence in Planning Award. And that one went to H. Edward Black and Associates for the Elm Street Station Park in the Pembroke Grove. So again, congratulations to all four. Uh, thank you to the judges. And uh, we look forward to uh, next year, see what kind of applications we get. Uh, uh, if you know of any projects, uh, remind them that we come in fall, we uh, start putting out the uh, requests. And then again, we'll be uh, judging those. So um, in a in this uh, round right after Christmas time. Hopefully we'll be able to have our award ceremony in person the last two years it's been by Zoom. Okay. Good. Madam Chairman, I, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, wholeheartedly uh, thank the commission on behalf of my board of directors for Tri-County Housing Development Corporation winning that award for the Steelton Borough Home Ownership Project. We're greatly honored and appreciate that. And uh, my board president, Rob Keith, and I met with Steve last Thursday and got the hardware. So we were able to get a photo op. And uh, again, thank you. Uh, thank you for that. It's uh, truly an honor. All right. A couple, couple other things um, before I move you off the progress report. Um, one, uh, kind of a heads up on something to look uh, look for for those of you who are involved in that attainable housing group that we have. We are 99% of the way done with the tweaks and things to the model zoning and subdivision ordinances. And one of the things we've been doing is highlighting many of the elements that have to do with housing that we want to run by you before we uh, finalize that. So look for that in activities to come. Um, Uh, just two other miscellaneous things and just getting back to infrastructure a little bit. Um, one of the things that we've been doing that's very interesting is we have our regional planner working on some analysis of potential electric vehicle charging station locations. Just talk about money that's coming down. It's a $170 million that Pennsylvania gets um, in this upcoming fiscal year uh, to help uh, with the distribution, construction, whatever of of electric vehicle charging, so we're trying to do our fair share of figuring out where those should go uh, in our region. So that that work is underway. And the last thing I'll I'll mention, kind of again, is along the topic of the toolkit that we did, um, is and this this was Jerry actually uh, participating in a series of webinars regarding uh, solar development number of presentations on the development and regulations of large scale solar. So that's another thing that we're working into our toolkit uh, to move forward, but just trying to stay on that curve as well. So with that, I, unless anybody has any questions on anything else that's in the progress report, those are my highlights. Any questions, anyone? I have one question that's related to the solar. So on this whole net zero housing and all, sometimes it's not a large scale solar facility that's going to help these homes meet net zero. It's a smaller panel within the footprint or it could be within the footprint of the property lines. Correct. Have we looked yes. at that? Yes, well, well the, uh, the zoning uh, solar, we can talk all night, ha uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's kind of three components to the solar uh, uh, discussions. One is large scale solar systems, which are you what's referred to as the solar farms. The, the next thing is uh, community solar. So let, let's say that a, a Walmart or a large industrial place has solar panels all over, but then they can sell off to their to their neighbors. Uh, the third one is the your own solar within your own community for your own use, uh, uh, accepting it. A lot of what's been the, the discussion has been the large scale solar because that's uh, a lot of the energy policy that's happening throughout the state and throughout the country is uh, supporting that. And one of the things I did learn in the uh, 
uh, conferences conferences I've been taking is that they're they're arguing that uh, solar energy is now one of the least, if not the least, uh, affordable uh, way to uh, generate electricity. Again, that's what they're claiming. But if that's the situation, then a lot more of these large scale solar farms are going to be put in place. Therefore, from us helping municipalities, that's why we're going to be. Uh, uh, that's why we have started developed and have developed a model ordinance for those large scale. And we're starting to see those actually already in the northern DOF, and they're talking about it. Right. The second, the community one, is actually won't be happening in Pennsylvania unless there's a change in the law from the Pennsylvania standpoint. Uh, you cannot sell your electric energy that you create to your neighbors at this point. I guess there's a lot to be worked out with the utility companies. The third one, Mary, is our ordinance does talk about that. That's that if you wanted to have uh, the solar panels and where to have it, because we're from talking, we don't talk really necessarily from a building code standpoint, because again, that's not necessarily something we're as familiar with, but from a land use cat category, we have discussions about that, whether it's an accessory use on your property or whether it's a structure on your, uh, on your house and things like that. We've been finding that farms have been using that a lot, particularly in dairy farms, right. because they use a lot of energy to, to milk the cows and such, and they're actually uh, proving to be quite successful then. Also, CAFOs are using those for the, the large, CAFOs are the uh, large animal production. Right. You know, uh, so we have talked about it, and it is in our ordinance, and again, it's recognized as being an important component of it. But the majority of what's causing a lot of the stir is the big farms, you know, 400, 700 acres of those uh, thousands of acres. So. Right, okay. Now I got my one, money is worth out of that count. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next up then we have the, um, the local planning assistant report. Uh, yeah, the main main thing is, is we've been helping Millersburg do uh, the uh, uh, their downtown zoning ordinance uh, revision. We've spent the majority of the money or time there. Um, also, to the uh, uh, we are starting to go out more in meetings in person. Um, I don't think there's hasn't been a meeting that's now uh, totally by. Uh, they have Zoom as an option, just like us, but almost everybody's doing them in person. Any questions of Jerry on that? Okay. Do we have any committee reports? No, other than the uh, the information is going to be going out, like Steve said. Okay. Okay. Next up is under new business. We have the subdivision and land development matters. We have fourteen plans here. Yes, um, what I'll do is uh, for again, uh, sort of a background information for everyone for the newer members and a reminder to the ones who've been on the commission for years. These uh, plans are the ones to come in for the Dauphin County Planning Commission to review. Uh, the staff receives them from the local municipalities and then we uh, review them on a, a standardized uh, form and sheet and then we send them back to the municipalities for where they're located. And then we uh, uh, share those uh, applications with you as the planning commission to ratify the comments and or if you do have any particular things, questions uh, to be raised, we will uh, you know, uh, be back in contact with the local municipalities. But on this uh, map here is uh, all the locations of the plans, they're coded based upon their development type, uh, and also the monthly review report lays out where they're located and some information about the plan itself. So uh, uh, we sometimes go into more detail on these things. Sometimes, uh, if it's fairly straightforward, fourteen is a is a is a higher number. So. Does anyone have any questions on any? Specific one. She may we see, may we see the overall listing of all the developments besides what's on the map? Steve. 
see that, Gary? Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, unless someone feels otherwise, we can approve these as the group. Or if you want one carved out to be looked at specifically. Gary, since you're still seeing this, do you need any of them looked at? What, what is the uh, uh, 028 in Susquehanna Township? What is the North 6th Street? 3465 North 6th Street. Yeah. What is that specific? Hold on. Hold on. Gotta gonna find it. We'll find it for you. Thank you. Where was that one again? 6th Street. 6th Street. Susquehanna. Six. Susquehanna, Susquehanna Township. Yeah. Right on the edge. Yeah. Really this one, probably. Is it just the sewer? I mean, it's your oh. consolidating three lots into one. Oh, okay. Thank you. That answers yeah. my question. Well, while we're here, I'll just, Taryn, for, for what it's worth. So, you know, when we send you that link to the map every month, you're, you saw how I just clicked on one of those and it brings up not only our review comments, which you're looking at now, but then it lets you look at the key sheets of the plan as well. So if you're ever curious about just like this, of what this particular thing was, you can look at the review comments and see the plan um, remotely. Okay, thank you. Madam Chair, this is Kirshner. I, I looked at most of the plans and see anything out of the ordinary and Jerry was a helpful on one of my questions. So I'll make the motion that uh, we ratify the staff comments on the 14 plans. Thank you, John. Do we have a second? Bob Spandler, I'll second that. Thank you, Bob. Any other comments regarding any? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, then they're approved. I was muted and couldn't say aye. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Gary. Okay, next up we have zoning amendments. We have three to look at. So Jerry, you wanna go down? There? Yeah, let's do each individually. Um, the first one is Steelton Borough uh, is seeking to uh, add to the definition for planned mixed use development within their town center. Uh, this use is not the uh, part of their uh, their current code and they're looking to add to that with the, uh, some requirements. Um, and also one of the things is to allow uh, uh, housing, including uh, uh, elderly apartments and group care uh, within that plan district. Uh, we found that uh, uh, our recommendation or analysis is that uh, we are always encouraging the ability to have more uh, housing within districts uh, particularly uh, in areas that have a mixed use component of it. Uh, the only thing we uh, noted on the plan or the application or the proposed change was uh, they are identifying adult uh, senior living housing and um, uh, you are allowed to have some, you know, clarification towards or preference towards adult housing, but uh, we think their ordinance just needs a little bit more uh, definition on that because uh, we want to make sure that they don't run afoul with anything that is associated with the uh, Fair Housing Act. So we asked, the, we were recommending their solicitor look at that. So, so that's our uh, staff recommendation is to, uh, is for the adoption of the ordinance, or for the commission to recommend the adoption of the ordinance with that comment. In play. Motion to approve. Okay, Gary, move to approve. Is there a second? First or second. Okay. Thanks, John. Okay. Um, any further comments or 
questions on it on the Stilton Borough Town Center District Amendment. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, that's approved. And then we have Swadera Township Wireless Communication Facilities. Um, yeah, uh, the township is like with a number of different communities are concerned about the uh, placement of these new tolls for uh, the small wireless facilities. Uh, if you're downtown Harrisburg, you can see them a lot, but I'm sure they're popping up pretty much everywhere. Uh, the concern is uh, how to regulate those within the right of way. Uh, Tri County had recently done a model ordinance, uh, which we had uh, done and distributed to all the communities. Some number of them have uh, adopted it. Uh, so Terrace uh, looking to do the same thing and they're looking to adopt our general ordinance. Mm -hmm. So uh, we uh, were recommending based upon that, that uh, they go ahead and put more uh, assurances in that they can help regulate that. Okay, any questions? Entertain a motion to approve the staff recommendations. Motion to approve. Thanks, Bob. Second. I'll second it. Do we still have Joshua? Should be. Yeah. Any further comments? Questions? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, that one is approved. Now we have Swadera Township again, warehouse and storage amendment. Um, yes, if you may recall, a number of years ago, the uh, township had uh, modified their ordinance to allow a uh, more expanded area for uh, warehouses, and it went in the, uh, the CG and the CH, the commercial uh, districts. Uh, uh, what they're suggesting now is to uh, uh, take that out, uh, to prohibit warehouses, and uh, you know, they had it as a conditional use, so in essence, they're they're looking to to move that out of the district. Um, the uh, um, the uh, it has been a bit of a controversial um, discussion uh, at the township level. Um, I'm not sure we want to get into the uh, the controversial parts of it because there's always pluses and minuses with any development. But on our end of things, when we looked at this ordinance, one of the things that we had to, um, uh, one of the things we had concerns with is to make sure that if you're by removing this area, to make sure you have enough room for other areas. Because again, one of the main concerns you always have is uh, whether you're going to be doing a spot zoning kind of thing or and or a, an exclusionary zoning. So uh, we felt that uh, one of the things that they should really take a good look at is how their system is already set up and such to make sure that they're comfortable with it. It appears they do, but again, we just don't want them to make a, a rush decision that would maybe make a, uh, a further uh, issue with them. So uh, we're not issuing a positive or negative uh, from a staff standpoint. We're just saying maybe uh, take a good look at this to make sure that you don't have any real issues with uh, uh, in a future action. Any questions? Okay, we'll entertain a motion to approve staff recommendations and comments. Motion makes the motion. Thank you, John. Second. Okay, I'll second it. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Just for the record, Madam Chairman, Chairwoman, uh, my phone was on mute. I, I kept not. I kept moving and seconding and wondering why nobody could hear me. But <laughs> well, I was wondering. I just I asked Steve if you were still on. He brought up that your your phone was still active on our yeah. end. So. I, I heard you, and I I responded. I realized I'm used to being ignored. <laughs> not that bad. I'm not Never. very good. Right, going back on mute. 
Bye, everybody. Good. Keep going. I'm, I, talk amongst Thank yourselves. You. I'm listening. Well, I, I think, Josh, on a day that we've had the technical issues, you can always get a pass. Okay. On that. okay um, next up, we have the sewer modules. Yeah, we. And they're we, all coming out of LP there. Yeah, we can take these all at one time if you okay. like. Okay. Sure. Okay, the uh, first one is uh, the Kepler subdivision. It's a subdivision of a 1.47 acre lot into three separate lots. Uh, they basically have a small uh, uh, garage and a gravel yard, and it's just going to be a uh, little subdivision. It's on actually 425 Prince Avenue. Uh, we did not indicate any major concerns about that. Uh, Mr. Car Wash is the second one for, uh, again, it's a construction of a 5,443 square foot car wash with associated parking lot improvements. Uh, it's on the uh, intersection of Lock Willow Avenue and uh, Jonestown Road. The actual, hmm, excuse me, the actual address is 5390. Um, again, it, uh, it was a land development that was, has been already reviewed and approved. Found no, no issue with that as well. Uh, the third one is the Meadows at Colonial Club. Uh, it's a 23.5 acre site, a resident, residentially zoned project pro property. Uh, and they're planning on putting 19 new single family homes, uh, single family det detached home. And it's near, it's on Country Colonial Club Drive and it's near Goose Valley Road, uh, but it's near the Yeltsin, right? Uh, close to the country club as well. So it's in that corner there. It's kind of on the road. It's sort of, it's the country club is off to, uh, uh, it's to the east of the country club. Okay. It's on the east side of that road as well. And again, there was no, no major issues appears. It's all within service areas. There's, there's sewage right there. All right. Any questions of anyone for, for Jerry? Okay, uh, we can take these as one. We'll entertain a motion to approve. So move. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. My pleasure. <laughs> and second. I'll second that. Okay, I'll second Bob. Okay, no further questions or comments. Uh, all those in favor? Uh, Aye. Anyone opposed? Aye. Okay. Passes. Okay, next up we have the intergovernmental reviews. We have both coming out of South Hanover Township. Uh, yes, the, uh, again, we, I, I would recommend we could do both at the same time. So I'll describe those at the same time here. Uh, the first uh, one is uh, South Hanover Township is uh, seeking to uh, uh, rebuild uh, a new public works garage on land that they have purchased from the Hershey Trust. Uh, it's this location, currently it's the location of their, or their in public works garage is uh, where their old municipal building was. Uh, what they're looking to do is uh, uh, seek funding in order to uh, to basically build a brand new system um, there and then uh, have them come out on Union Deposit Road rather than uh, uh, or West Canal Street rather than coming out on West Third Street. It's kind of tucked back in there. But uh, again, uh, they're seeking six hundred thousand dollars, I believe is the amount here. Yes. Six hundred thousand dollars from the local share account statewide grant program. Um, for uh, improvements to uh, public facilities is always uh, a, a component that we uh, support. It's a part of our comprehensive plan in order to uh, be able to provide additional services to, uh, to the community. So we're recommending that we're finding it concurrent with the comprehensive plan. The other thing, uh, we can blame Steve Deck for this one. Uh, Steve went to a, a meeting at the South Hanover Planning Commission and he talked to them about the uh, official maps. And one of the things was uh, the, uh, they're looking at is doing an official map to uh, put trail systems in. So uh, Steve uh, being the planner said, uh, you've got a plan first. And so they're taking that into heart. So they're seeking funding to do a 
uh, plan, uh, a pedestrian trail plan uh, study. Uh, they're asking from uh, uh, the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and National Resources, uh, their trails grant program, $75,000 in order to do the plan. So again, uh, it clicks a lot of our boxes, uh, transportation also uh, good uh, increasing the, you know, uh, helping out the economy and everything. So we're, we're again, finding it current. Okay, any questions for Jerry? Okay, we can take these as together in one motion. Motion moves. Thank you, John. Second. No, I'll second. Jerry. Jerry. Jerry Lanker will second. Any further questions, comments? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, motion passes. Okay, we're down to item six, additional items. Do we have anything to? We do not. Okay, anything? Madam Chair, this is John. I just had a, uh, just want to piggyback on the Premier Project Award comments that Jerry made earlier. and. Kudos to the staff and all the applicants and the award winners. I, I've been fortunate to be a judge the past few years and really enjoy that and get to really see what's going on. But it's just a great, great program that the county provides to recognize planning efforts in the community and it highlights all those efforts. And it, it's just, we're not beating the drum, you know, necessarily, but it gives an opportunity to put planning in the spotlight and just want to compliment the staff for their continued efforts in doing that on behalf of the commission. Thank you. Thank you, John. Any other comments out there, thoughts you wanna share? Okay, well, our next meeting is Monday, April 4th at four o'clock. Without technical difficulty. We're, <laughs> actually, we're advertising it that way. <laughs> That's up to you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that, the, that gets beat up on that one. <laughs> Okay, we're uh, gonna do it virtual or in person. So whatever your, works best for you. And I guess if there's nothing else, entertain a motion for adjournment. So move. Thank Second. you. Okay. Thank you everyone. Appreciate your participation. See you next month. See you next See you. Thanks, good night. Bye. Good night.